Hey, what's up guys? Tony here from the Dev Dojo, and I'm going to show you how you can create a SaaS application in 10 minutes. And the title may be a little clickbaity because we're actually not going to create a full SaaS in 10 minutes, but what we are going to do is we're going to use this Wave Software as a Service Starter Kit, and then we're also going to design it with a tool called Tails. So you'll have a fully designed and fully functional SaaS application that you can start creating in under 10 minutes. So Wave is an open source software as a service starter kit that comes with billing, user profiles, authentication, and just a bunch of stuff out of the box. So let's go ahead and go to the GitHub repo. And then I'm going to scroll down to the installation steps. So I'm going to clone this into a new folder. And my new folder, I'm going to create an application called Watchdog. And this is the premise behind this is kind of like a website monitoring and protection service. We're not going to actually build out the software as a service, but I kind of wanted to have a name for the application. I'll also add a logo and you can kind of see it come together. So we'll call this watchdog. Okay, we'll then need to CD into that folder and we'll open this up in our code editor. Okay, and let's go back to the instructions. Step one says that we need to create a new database and to save some time, I've already created a new database and just called that watchdog. Then we need to copy the .env.example and change a few environment variables. So our application is not going to live at wave.test, it's actually going to live at watchdog.test, and the database is going to be watchdog instead of wave. So then step three is to run composer install. And finally, we can run php artisan migrate and then PHP Artisan DB Seed. Okay, now we should be able to visit our app at watchdog.test, and you can see we have a new software as a service right in front of us. So this is the starter theme. It is a Tailwind CSS theme, and we're gonna go ahead and modify it to kind of fit the needs for our application. So instead of the Wave logo, how about we modify the logo and add our own? So I actually have a logo that I've kind of whipped up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy this SVG code, and I like to go to this website called OMG SVG. It basically rips out anything you don't need from the SVG code. Okay, so I'm gonna copy that. And inside of my code editor, this is going to be inside of my resources, views, themes, and the theme is Tailwind. And this is inside of the partials and the header.blade.php. And then if I look through this file, I can see that this is where the logo should go. And we have the default SVG right here. So how about I just replace that? And I'm going to save this. And if we go back and reload, you're gonna see that we see that there and it's pretty large, so we don't need the logo to be that big. So what we can do is we need to change the view box, which is actually going to be the width and the height. So we're gonna say 00, 415, 61. And then we need to give the class, and we'll say h-9, w-auto. Let's reload that, and that looks quite a bit better. Maybe we even want to bump it down a little bit to h-6. Let's try h8. Okay, that looks quite a bit better. So we're starting to change the way that the default page looks. Now let's go ahead and go all in, and let's create a new landing page for our software as a service. So the service that we're going to use is called Tails, and if you were to visit devdojo.com tails, this is a Tailwind CSS page creator. So you will need a pro account if you want to access all of the templates, but you can still access a few free templates with a free account. So let's go ahead and say that we want to add a new hero section. So we can kind of scroll through and see the ones that we like. And I think I'm going to go with this one right here. So the reason why I'm not adding a header is because we're just going to keep the current header that's on the site. So we have the hero section, and then maybe we want some logos. Let's add some logos, and then maybe some features. And you can go through all of this content and kind of find the blocks that you like and then drag and drop them, and then you'll be able to copy and paste this into your project. So let's find some features. Let's go with that one. Maybe we need a call to action. Let's use this one, and let's go with a pricing. And we may actually include the default pricing that's already in Wave. 
but let's just drop that there. And then maybe we want to include an FAQ section. And let's use that right there. So now we have the page laid out, and I want to show you that right now we're kind of have this color scheme of the black and purple. So if you look at the logo, we have this purple color. So let's go ahead and modify our page to have a purple color scheme. Let's go down, let's click on this, and you can see that the button changes. Then so does a lot of the CTA and our buttons right here, and the background for the FAQ. Okay, so now what we can do is we can export the page, and I can either copy the HTML or I can download the HTML. How about I just copy that? And I'm going to go into my home.blade.php, and this is the file that we're going to modify and add our new design. So I'm going to scroll down, and as you can see, we have the pricing already right here. So I'm going to keep that in there and just paste this in. And then we'll probably need to remove the pricing that I added before, which was this one. So before we take a look at what our page looks like, we need to run our asset watcher because we've just added some new classes, and Tailwind may not know about all these classes yet. So first, what we need to do is we need to CD into our resources, views, themes, and our Tailwind folder. And then we need to run npm install to install our node dependencies. Okay, and after we've done that, we can now run npm run watch to start our asset watcher. And now check this out. If we go to our software as a service and reload, we're going to see that we have our new page in front of us. We have our FAQ, we have our pricing, and the users can now sign in or sign up for our service. So once you install, you can log in with the admin credentials, which is admin at admin.com and password as password. And this is what a user would see when they log into your application. They have their dashboard in front of them, and this is where you will add the logic for your software as a service. So this is maybe where you would say, hey, enter your website, and we will start monitoring and protecting your website. They can also then go to their settings, and they can check out the different plans that you have available. So right now it says that I'm subscribed to this plan, but you can switch plans. You first need to sync up your Paddle payment platform, and you can learn about how to do all this in the Wave documentation. So that's it. We just built the main building blocks for your software as a service in about 10 minutes. So now it's up to you to start creating the actual functionality for your software as a service, and then you'll be able to get into a whole different realm, which is marketing your SaaS and learning about all the other stuff that's outside of building your software as a service. But it's a lot of fun. Uh, I would definitely encourage you to start building, start creating, start learning, and I hope you have a great time creating your SaaS application with Wave and designing it with Tails. I will be sure to post the links below this video. But until I see you in the next video, I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you later.